Hi everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. We have a good question about double kettlebell cleans. Now, I do a lot of kettlebell certifications and even at the certs, people struggle with the double kettlebell world. And I think often it's because, and let's just start off with, with the first thing I tell everybody. Hi, I'm Dan and I'm an Olympic lifter. So for me, when I'm Olympic lifting with the bar, I've got this bar and I take it here and I throw my whole body, see these wildly moving elbows and I rack it and I catch it. With the double kettlebell clean, we have what's called quiet elbows. So literally my elbows just go, huh, hmm, huh, hmm. You want to keep those elbows tucked as best you can. It's not perfect what I'm saying. As quiet as you can. You almost want to so as an Olympic lifter, my elbows go woo, woo. With a kettlebell clean, boom. That's principle number one I go over. And I tell you one thing, when I have people from an American football background, a track and field background, a military background, they all go, oh, thank you, I got it. Some others are like, I don't see what the big deal is. But for them, the people who come from quadrant two, collision sports, collision occupations, uh, track and field, they've been doing Olympic cleans a lot. Point number two, the clean is a swing. The clean is a swing. The clean is a swing. That ends up here, not here. The snatch, by the way, the kettlebell snatch is a swing that ends up in the way to walk position. So the clean is a swing, the clean is a swing. So when you do this drill, and, uh, so the first thing I do whenever I do any swing, ballistic movement, any of kettlebells, is I move myself back. The first thing I do is I push my butt back, I hinge, I hinge, I hinge, I hinge. And then in this hinge position, that's when I address the bell. I'm not going to ever pick them up here because I want to swing every load I have. All right? So I'll just show you a quick double kettlebell clean, but you'll see I swing it first, and then I'll give you a point. Eyes on the horizon, I'm gonna sit back, swing, clean, swing, clean, swing, clean. Put it down like a professional, now talk to you. One thing I teach that a lot of coaches did teach now they didn't, and now they do, is when I teach the double kettlebell movements, I always have the bells in a V position to me. So as you look at these, you'll see that they're in a V to me. That gives me more space to do the clean between my thighs. I'm gonna have to move this bells out just a few inches. So now, eyes on the horizon. I'm going to set up my clean. I'm back. It looks about, well, I don't know what the measurement is, but I want to start the hinge. I'm going to hinge myself back. I'm going to reach forward, tip the bells up off the ground, eyes on the horizon, swing, clean, swing, clean, swing, clean. My left elbow on a few of those was wild because I had an Olympic lifting meet this weekend, and maybe I'm trying to remind myself how to do uh, two things at once. So for me, the double kettlebell clean, first off has to be a concept of clarity. It's a kettlebell clean, not an Olympic bar clean. Number two, it's a swing. Number three, it's a swing that ends up in the double rack position. If you follow those simple points, you should be able to increase and improve your clean technique. Remember to start with the bells as a V to me. Keep your eyes on the horizon. And when you put the bell down, put it down like a professional. When you finish, stand vertical. Then talk to your audience. Thank you. I'm Dan John from danjohnuniversity.com.